Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Mario So, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can shoot a pretty nice looking product photo using only one pocket size LED light. And this light is actually even smaller than my phone. All right, let's get right into it. Oh, it's so bright. So thank you so much for being here again. I have to get lower because I set my camera a bit lower, but if you're new here, I create weekly videos on filmmaking, editing tutorials, and gear review. If you think that's something you'll be into, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content similar to this one. And if you're already subscribed, thanks again for being here. I'm gonna set up to shoot a product using only this small LED light. This is the Aperture Amaran ALM9, which is a daylight color temperature light that is really small. It's not as powerful as some of the other pocket size LED lights that Aperture makes, but there's a story about this and I'll tell you in a bit. Before we get started, let's get this set up first. I'm going to be using my door right here as the backdrop. I got my little table set up right here, my door, which is going to be the backdrop. And I have some acrylic fake ice right here that I'm going to use for the product. This ice is actually very useful because it doesn't melt and it looks really legit. And I use this ice also in the Lacroix commercial video that I created. So if you haven't checked that out, you can take a look right here. I also have black plexiglass. What this will do is create a nice reflection for your product. But one thing you gotta make sure is that you clean it first because it tends to get dusty very easily and it's really apparent in the shot. Please forgive my messiness right here. I thought I would show you a behind the scenes of how I shot this. And since I live in a small condo, there just isn't enough space here to put all my gear, all the bags and all that stuff. So, so I got my drink or my product. I was walking around the supermarket just trying to find something that would be nice to shoot for this video. And I saw this and it looked pretty nice. And I think it's gonna work well for this video. It's uh, never had this before. It's good drink iced tea with black tea and lemon, but I gotta do the shoot before I drink it. So, ooh, that's actually, that actually looks quite good with that light at the back hitting the back of the bottle. So let's talk about this little light. So this is an Aperture ALM9 which is uh, not a new light, it's not the MX, it's not the other aperture light that it's RGB. This is only daylight temperature, but it comes with a few accessories. It comes with this little um, diffuser with magnetic corners so you can, uh, you know, stick it together. There's another extra layer of diffusion here, as well as two color gels. There's a warm temperature one and there's the uh, blue a cool temperature one. So we're gonna make use of these two for this photo. And fun fact, I did not purchase this light. I actually want it. I actually participate in a giveaway by Aperture. They said comment in the description below for a chance to win one of these lights. And lo and behold, I want it. I've never won anything actually. So yeah, I was pretty happy about this. If you have ever gotten lucky enough and gotten anything online or want any giveaway or whatever, let me know in the comments below. So for this photo, I'm going to be using a tripod, my table, the Sony a7 III with the 28 to 75 lens. What I'm going to try to do is actually shoot this photo with the light in different spots. And later in Photoshop, I'll be bringing all these photos together and just mask the part that I want to show for each of the photos. And this will give me an evenly lit photograph using just this one light. And I'll, I apologize right now if this behind the scenes camera is gonna look underexposed. I have to turn off this light in order for this photo to work. So as you can see right now, this, uh, this background, which is my door, even though this product is not too big, it's not too small, I, uh, it won't work really for a wide shot, but I want this mostly for Instagram. So I know I'm gonna be cropping this to a four by five. So what you see on the two sides of the, of the image right now are not gonna be there. And you can also Photoshop the handle that you can see from the door. So that's not a big deal for me. One trick that I've learned about bottles is that if you're shooting them, you need to get rid of the back label if it's paper or like a sticker uh, so that you can also shine a light through it but this one doesn't have a sticker that you can get rid of. But uh, the way this is made, I feel like the light will still be able to go through here to give us a good backlight. One thing that's really important for whether you're doing any product shoot with a drink, that you have a spray, that you can spray some water in it. it gives you that visual that the bottle or the can is sweating and it makes it more enticing to drink, I think, when it's sweaty. 
for some reason. I tried earlier um, just shining the light directly on the bottle. The light still felt quite harsh. So I wanted to soften this further. I didn't want to bring another soft box. I wanted to make this fairly simple so that you could also try this out at home. What you could use to soften this light even further is to use a sheet of paper. So I tried different ways. I tried shining the light on the paper, but the light was giving me uh, a weird glare and reflection in the bottle here. So what I opted to do was to shine the light from behind the sheet of paper. And that was giving me a better looking soft light all around. Um, the camera is going to be on a tripod. It's going to be static the, the entire time. And I'll be shooting different photos. One photo from the side, one photo from the left, one photo from the top, one from the back, and one more photo with the light against the background with a different color. So let's get started with the first one. I think I got all my photos. I really hope this turns out as well as I thought it was going to turn out in my head. But let's jump into Photoshop and see what this looks like. We want to import all of these images together in Photoshop so that they're in the same project and they're in different layers stacked on top of each other. Click on File, go to Scripts, load files into Stack. From there, you can browse to the photos that you have taken. You will select all of them and click Open. Make sure you check the box that says attempt to automatically align source images. What Photoshop will now do is try to align all of your images so that they're directly on top of each other. We'll wait for Photoshop to align these images and do its thing. Now all of these images have been imported into different layers. We'll bring the background layer to be all the way at the bottom of the stack because we want that image to be all the way in the background. The back layer is the layer we'll be working on right now. And this is the layer that you'll put right on top of the background layer. When you turn on the back layer, you can see that the light is giving us a really nice glow on the bottle. And this is what we want to bring out. So to do that, we'll click on create new layer mask. Once you're here, we want to invert this mask. And you can do that by command I if you're on a Mac or control I if you're on a PC. And as soon as you do that, you can see that this mask turns to black. Next, you're going to click on the brush tool and make sure that the white color is in the foreground. You can do that by pressing X in your keyboard. Now we start to brush that glow of the bottle into the image. And to finish it off, we want to lighten this layer. Next, we'll be working with the top layer. So same process, we'll click on create a new layer mask, command I or control I to invert that mask. You'll click on the brush tool, make sure that the white is in the foreground and you start brushing that color in the top of the cap. Next, we'll work on the right rim light photo. And again, same process, create a layer mask. We'll invert that layer, click on brush, and start brushing away. It is on this layer that we start to bring back that label that we did not have before. And you can start to see that this is starting to look really nice by just using that one pocket size light. We'll also start to brush back all of the ice and all of the fruits back into the shot. And the last layer we'll be working on is that left rim light layer. So again, same process, create a new layer mask, invert that mask, click on the brush tool and, and start brushing that left side of that image back onto this main composite. So that's pretty much it. And this is what the final result looks like. So that was it for today's video, guys. As you can see, you can create really good product photography using only one small light. So if you found value out of this video, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. So that is all for today, guys. I'll see you next time.